Welcome in, everybody. It is that time again. The Outcast Podcast is back, baby. And we, we have our band of Outcasts here. We've got Memphis. My Afri- Look at my African American friend right here, will you? What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> no, look at my African American over here. Look at him. Are you the greatest? You know Man. what I'm talking about? Okay. How is he talking That's while terrible. he's in jail? Well, he ain't in jail yet, is he? They lock his punk ass up yet? We'll, we'll talk about mm, that coming up. Uh, Memphis, it's good to have you. Hey, glad to be here, man. Glad to see you. Ramo, my Latino friend. How okay. are you? Que paso? What's up, man? How you doing? And then my fellow uh, mostly white man, Tomcat, is on the panel as well. We have a very diversified group of outcasts You're here. You're supposed to go, hey. Hey, hey there, jerky. Hey there. <laughs> How y'all doing? Uh, we shouldn't stereotype each other, but that's oh, what I do here not? on the it's show. So fun, though. It's it so much fun. Oh, it's hilarious. We plan on having fun on the show today. I always like to pick up on the conversations before the show. The guys really don't know what we're going to talk about on the show. I have no clue. Uh, but we will be uh, talking about things. One thing I'd like to talk about is this Gwyneth Paltrow uh, story coming up, I guess. Is she naked? She had a hit and run. And what? Uh, she hit somebody and she Her ran. Too? Now, is that a snowmobile or People something? People have a personal insurance prop, uh, policy for that, a PIP. That's, that's, that's for hit and run. But how did they know who hit her? How did they know she did it? There's oh. witnesses? We'll answer these questions and more Ooh. coming up on want, the Outcast podcast. I want to know. We also have uh, an article that came across my feed on BuzzFeed that says, People are divulging kinky sex things that they've tried and they end up loving them. Which means so, he was buzzed when he was reading the feed. Yeah, I probably was late night buzz uh, reading the feed, and I found that there are some kinky things out there you can try if you're ready to spice things up uh, with you and your significant other. We have that coming up, and some arguments we'll try to stay away from, but somehow I feel like we don't always agree, but we do at the end of the show. Okay. Is that right? You gave away our secret. A lot of times. Do we agree? No. I I don't know if we agree. We don't don't agree, but we're still friends. Put our differences aside. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We're still friends. I think if we all agreed, we'd be like, you know, it would be weird. You're weak. Yeah, we'd be idiots because Tom (laughs) has. Yeah. I, I have something going on in my house that just got laid on uh, me just before the show well, where uh, they're, tr- they're trying to bring another animal in the house. Ooh, we, that's al- we already have two dogs, two cats, and we are down to one bird because we had you know a death in the bird family. How did that end up turning out for you? You never gave us an update. Oh, the bird died. <laughs> well, we know that. I put well, it, that's I put pretty it in cut a, and dry. I yeah. put it in a box <laughs> and put it in the trash. No, my daughter wanted me to. Send-off? My daughter wanted me to bury it, but I was like, "Then the dog will dig it up." And then, trying to have bird wings, so I, deci- <laughs> I decided to uh, just put it in a shoebox, threw it in the trash. I think it's out by the side of the road right now. If you guys wanted to go check it out, but the nah. dead bird. But now they're trying to push another dog, another dog on me. At some point, you you have to put your foot down. Why didn't you just bury it on the other side of the fence? Yeah, you got to bury it's the all bird. woods over the there. The trash is weird. Just toss them over there at least. You well, I mean, a goldfish, a goldfish, I flush down the toilet. Yeah, that's well, but water. that's yeah, they're water. Well, you didn't bury it. You just flush it, and huh. uh, uh, that's I guess like I burying it. I have buried yes. a dog. A dog I've buried. I buried my dog many times. If you put time. the dog in the trash, you're in trouble. That's why I have five yeah. kids. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to bury my the dog. Neighbor's weekly. gonna be like, hey, I gotta talk to you. No. It's like how, how many animals in the house are too many until you finally put your foot down? I, 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 for right me, now. it's two. You have I two think it's animals. Two, two animals. That's it. You try to add another one. It, actually, I have three. But the hamster, we don't pay attention to. He's a I agree fucker. with that. I well, have you know dog what? and cat, and it is a symbiotic relationship between yeah, dog and them cat. Them two, yeah, they're cool. Yeah, now you can bring animal in from the Muppets. Okay. The drummer. Yeah. Yeah, animal. Gentry won't have that. Yeah. That's his drum set. I, like, I, like, I, I always I always liked Animal. He was one of my <laughs> favorite. Yeah. Mo- mo- agree, <laughs> agree. Well, anyway, that's just like it's hard to say no to the dogs. You know, they're going to the shelter, and you're going to help a dog that's you know, could be put, put down, down soon. So. Can you rid him on the weekend? And we got a big yard out here. So you but. pretty much lost. lost I can tell by the look on your face in uh, the monitor it. there that you a, are getting this dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Something tells me. I can me. hear it in his voice. I'm, I'm a beaten, a I'm a beaten I, man. I, 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 I for one, am happy got, that you're getting the dog. suspicion. Because I agree with them. This is a beautiful Can't, property. And if you didn't have a big place, yeah. you know, it, three dogs might be too many. Well, what kind of dog? And honestly, your older, your bigger dog, he's 
a little long in the tooth there. Yeah, he might be burying him in the backyard. Yeah, my soon. dog, my dog is long yeah. in the tooth. Yeah, no, you. I came over to his house the other day. He was like, Arr. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yes, yes. He knows there's a Hispanic here. He gets and when it. he get when I get to the house, uh, he doesn't wake up before I get through the door. Like I'm already unlocked the door, open the door, get through the door. He's laying there on the floor <laughs> sleeping, and I'm standing in front of him, and I'll be like, hey, hey, and I have to like be like whistle, you know, woo, and then he's like. Well, they, they can smell you. It's you. Yeah, you are they here. can smell you. He's like, What's man, no, he's sleeping until I like wake nap, him up. Until dick. I like, because he don't want to. Well, that's the thing. I can smell the dog. You know, the dogs fart. The yeah. dogs puke. The oh, dogs man, don't even hair start. Around. My dog shit my house this morning. I wanted to strangle him. <laughs> After my I took him out already at five o'clock in the morning, my dog did exactly the same thing. I had to clean up shit, and he peed. That's because my wife and them are feeding him pumpkin with his fucking dog food. Way to go! Pumpkin. Yeah. Next time I'm waking oh, you up. What kind of food do you think Donald Trump will be eating when he's behind bars? Probably the best if he goes. Because it seems as though somehow, Dang some way, <laughs> hamburgers. Uh, Donald Trump. They keep. Ta- <laughs> I say this about Donald Trump. They keep trying to bury the guy but for some reason they can't ever find anything to bury him on but it seems like even trump himself said he was going to be arrested this week tomcat i know how much you watch the news you told me today quote from tomcat i just love i'm just watching the news i'm on the feed all day long. A lot. Yeah, you I told do. me that you love the news i'm a nerd for so, the news so what is going on uh, donald trump was supposed to be arrested tuesday it's yeah, now yes, wednesday he, he said that yeah, he, he did. Well, why, why? And he's going to be arrested because of a Stormy Daniels payoff? Is that what this is about? Stormy Daniels payoff. Oh, really? Uh, I think it was 2014. Michael Cohen I paid, remember the, that. paid the money remember? originally. He paid him back. But those type of NDAs, which is a non-disclosure agreement, they're right. not illegal. And then what they're saying is illegal is they're saying that he, he said on his taxes that it was legal fees, but it should have been campaigns. Yeah. A c- campaign sure. donation, but that doesn't make sense because you wouldn't use campaign funds for that. No, that's a crime within itself. It's not because yeah, yeah, he yeah, did yeah, it. He paid saying. his own money. You see, he paid did, his own he, money. Or did he? To, he did. You sure? Yes. They have. Well, uh, they, know, have they know. They know. Look, money. Yeah. He's broke. But another thing is, there's there's statute of limitations on both of those. There's two years for the first charge, and even if they bump it up to the felony. With the campaign finance thing, it's five years, and that's seven years ago. Look, he's so it's it's run up. His family's loaded, dude. Like they've been loaded. I mean, he probably doesn't have a lot of liquid cash, but they have a lot of assets. Chances are, he's gonna even if they find him guilty, whatever. It's a misdemeanor not, charge. He may, yeah, he may not right? spend any time in prison for something of like this. Like, I mean, he's gonna use it to an advantage. Be like, oh, well, look like, what I they think did. he's yeah, trying blah, to. Blah, blah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think that's what he's going off with it. Of, a porn star, and a lot of the they say he's they're saying that it never actually happened. Even Stormy Daniels said it never actually happened. He never paid her. He ne- they never had sex. Well, I, I thought, I thought she couldn't. said he was I thought, terrible. I thought she. Yeah, I, I thought, I thought I've heard her say that it was he, terrible. He probably yeah, couldn't get it up. Hit. Yeah, you are he, fake news. He's fucking one hundred and twenty years old. Don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, no, you know, right. no, who knows no, no, what's no, going to no, happen? No. But the, yeah. one and one of the things I had written down was um, it'd be all right. That, that it's just a lot of people I think think that if they charge him with this stuff, he won't be able to run for president. Nah. But it doesn't bar you from running for president because the only don't. things that the Constitution <laughs> says you need Come to run on. for president is you got to be a natural <laughs> citizen. All presidents you gotta do be, this. You got to be thirty five years old and you have to have lived in the United States for thirteen years. So he's. It doesn't say anything then, about if you've been charged with anything, you can't run. So he can still run for president, you know? So, yeah, this motherfucker be locked up and run for president. He, but they won't. And then this country, they won't lock him might up win. For, we elected our first for real, for real criminal. But do we really want to live bars. in a country where you're yeah. locking up your political opponents? That's not how you're supposed everybody to do it in America. It. Why not? Political opponents. Yeah, everybody well, if they do He's some the front up runner shit. for the next election. I don't care who fucks up and does some fucked up shit in this country. We should all be liable for the yeah, same responsibilities. Agree. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who they are. Now, if he no, did some fucked up that. shit and they find it, then yeah, he should go to jail. If they don't, something it, like this, I don't think he's going to see. It's, I mean, it's not going to do nothing. I think but he won't be, I, I, I kind of I, I agree with, with Memphis in the sense that I think he's playing it to be more of a situation than it really is in order to kind of get some you know, some of that. Sympathy. Oh man, look like people yeah. are fucking with him. Like right. you know that sympathy. You know, he try, like, Vol- yes, you know, he's trying to. He's trying to become president. Well, today, I guess he's the been through a lot of shit. He's I trying was, to. Uh, you know, 
I can't was get some love peeking into it as we started and they're saying the proceedings like mysteriously stopped for the day today sure. so why not yeah well, i don't know and then there's been rumors that he may not charge him at all he right may not charge yeah, him that's what i'm saying dude i mean money then talks he still in has country, to deal bro. with the georgia thing the georgia where he situation. told them to, yeah. to they're saying he right. told them to that's find votes and a phone call i don't agree with that i think he said like basically i feel like he was like you telling me that there's not a thousand votes Nah, you, you know, take but a lot of people are taking it like he's like, I need you to find me a thousand votes. That's kinda like so that's what it. that one's that's about. That's how he said it. And then, the other one, and said then it. the third case is about the documents. But I think that one's a wash because of Biden with the documents. So that's that, I think. I have the news article here. Uh, this is from CBS from her interview she did on 60 Minutes, Stormy Daniels. It says that uh, she uh, had a 2006 sexual encounter with Trump <laughs> that she said she, she didn't want. Uh, but that's rape, isn't it? But she didn't. Ah! But she said. <laughs> but she didn't say I'm no. Sure that didn't happen. The article says that she didn't say no, but she didn't really want it. Either. Well, you know, once he grabs them by the pussy, yeah, well, it's over. At that point, they want it. <laughs> Game Trump, over. Trump is saying it never happened. That he never had sex with her. And uh, in the waning weeks of the 2016 presidential campaign, Trump's then lawyer. Michael, Michael Cohen, Cohen said he said that he paid Daniels one hundred and thirty thousand dollars for her to shut her mouth and not say anything. That's another she thing. She that. owes him money. But then, well, hold on. But then, yeah, so, because well, uh, he, he gave her one hundred and thirty to shut up and she didn't she shut up. Owes him money. What, this what? Guy, he's going he's to he's he's right. wind up fucking not getting charged and then uh, she's going to end up having to pay him money. I, I, I just know. can't understand I how I anybody... I would like to see it happen. I she always ends up on the wrong end of shit. I that mean, Michael Avenatti guy took her for a ride. And this now, is exhausting. <laughs> Are these the type of people we want involved in our national politics yeah. i think really? they're all shady they, of, course of course they, they are. are but that's what i'm yeah, saying like god damn it Since can't we've been we doing do this. better Since can't we do better america no. florida especially no. i didn't even get into that, that shit no. but this is just this is come it's, on it's great no, living what? in florida i feel like we uh we have a lot of freedom that other states don't have living nah, in florida not. what about Raymo? you run for all learn about stuff you know against the law to learn about History. No, it's not. Okay. I'm, I'm talking it's about pathetic. during COVID. If you lived in New York, I mean, they're just. It seems like just a couple months ago, they finally started opening their city up. People were pouring out of states well, like New York, New York and California. Came to Florida anyway. I mean, they weren't going west. They were always coming south. New York has yeah. always done that. Yeah. It's most just, most states. It just Florida. I think what Ramos saying is like, can we do better? Like like with a lot of decisions and shit. Shit and that's I'm going like, on in the state that just like, doesn't make sense. No. Like what a specifically? Lot of peop- a lot of people are screaming that Look on both it. sides of the aisle to Screaming agree what? with you guys. Uh, wait, wait, to agree with you. It, dude. Look wait, into that, it. We, that people I, I, think we I can just, do better in our in our representative government on yeah. all levels. Everywhere. Fuck yeah. Everywhere. I think Everywhere. people say Everywhere. one thing, but I don't believe it because I, I just don't believe it. Anybody, but we keep voting. We keep voting in names they know. A person to tell you anything to make you believe me if you get off their ass and they turn around and do the opposite. So I don't believe it. You shit. guys remember that movie? What, what was movie? the name of the movie? Gentry. It's the name you know. Distinguished gentleman. Distinguished oh, gentleman. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, how it is, man. That. People yeah. just vote for the but name they know on I the ticket. It. And all he did in that movie, and sure. in that movie, Eddie that? Murphy, he just switched sure. his. He had the same name as a guy that people knew. And that's on both parties because people will vote like when my mom and dad were always Republican. Republican or Democrat or whatever, so I'm gonna fall in line. Or oh, all my friends vote this way. I'm gonna vote this way because if we get to talking about it, then I don't want to seem like I'm the outcast when I believe something totally different. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. People, people go along with the get along, and then when shit like get fucking crazy, and then it's like, well, how did you let this happen? Because you idiots, you don't pay attention to your state and local uh, elections exactly. first, because everybody pay attention to the presidential election. That's one thing. But if you ain't paying attention to your state and local, you're just a goddamn idiot. And yeah. I'm going to tell you that because it's these true. people that you it's elect true. as these career politicians, your dumb ass is keeping them in there. And you're not reading your ballots and all that correctly because they had they hide shit in bills and all the stuff. So they say you, they want you to vote for this proposition, whatever. But you don't read. You're like, oh, OK, I heard about this. So I'm going to go for that. But you ain't read the whole shit. It's the other bunch of fucked up shit that they slide in there. Both parties do the shit. So I ain't calling uh, one. I'm calling them on um, both. You know what I'm saying? But you got to do better. If you if this country really want to do better, people got to want to do better. 
And I'm saying Americans don't want to do better because everybody offer their goddamn self. So this is what the fuck we get. And, and to take that a little, expand on what he was just saying about how they vote on these bills and put a bunch of stuff in it. Those bills are called omnibus bills. And they started, they didn't always do that. They would vote on one bill at a time, God, bring sure. it to the floor and vote on it. That's the problem. Right, right. Now they're bringing these fuck stack bills and they don't yep. bring the bill in until they're about to go on vacation mm-hmm. and nobody can read it. And they got... 48 hours to sign it, and that's it. Boom. That's and it has called. money for this. And here's money the thing. That. But here's the, the thing. Wait, 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 all here, in there. And here's the that's thing. And, and the way you presented that is like you're saying they do this and they do that. It's, yeah. No, they are fucking allowed to do that shit, okay? The they only do, do it, it because yeah. they're allowed to fucking do it. We need to stop that shit. We need to put... Like we're trying time to get, limits people on shit. Put, we need to put time limits on Congress. We need to put like agree, we need to tell them, hey, and if the you're gonna vote on some need shit, to be rooted out, man. These, these, done. these bureaucracies that are right. there for people are there for their whole lives and they're never voted in. It needs to be done properly. It needs to be done with time for everybody to read the bill, for the public to understand what the fuck they're voting on. Like, I understand that shit takes time, and maybe not everything can be done that meticulously, but we can definitely do better than motherfuckers voting at 3 o'clock in the fucking morning when 80% of the people didn't who really it. don't know about it didn't read it and probably can't even fucking they be They just want to go home. So they're voting with, like, eight fucking people, and then, oh, yeah, eight people are making decisions for the rest of the fucking country. True. Nah, man, that's bullshit. We got to do better, America. This I is don't not disagree working. with that. This is not working. It's I not also, working. I also not like, for us. I like not for the, regular motherfuckers. I like the term limits uh, for pilots. As uh, my son Jordan is going to flight school, okay. I've learned that you know you can be a commercial pilot, but you can't pass the age of 65. You know, they just say that you know they don't right. want people flying p- planes over 65. Why would they want people running the country? That are I don't I would think Agreed. sixty-five might be a little low, maybe seventy-five. But at, nah, at some point motherfucker doing shit at some point at 70, 75 years old, it's time to get the golf clubs. It's time to go to an early bird special. <laughs> and then once it's again, ti- it's time A-A-R-P, to enjoy. Your, wait, we might not yeah. have that shit. Once it's, again, that's on us too. I I agree. I agree with you, Gentry, hundred percent. But you know, I think we also got to see that's on us because we keep voting these people in. We've done better, and not only we've that, done better before. Eh, I don't know about that, but what before, do you mean? I, I wouldn't go that far. Obama was a good president. Uh, Carter was good. The first Bush wasn't neither, horrible. Neither do you say Biden is a bad good. president? Ray, uh, I thought Reagan was a good president. Yet. Reagan was horrible. No, 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 no. What are you That's, talking about? Reagan dude? is the reason why they've got Most fucking going cocaine right now. and crack on the streets. Mm-hmm. Reagan that was, was gonna happen. horrible. Man, they they had the whole nah, Dare program nah, come nah, out. Fuck Dare. Just Dare say no to drugs. That, boy, I that, grew up with that. that yeah, just say what, no. What the Nancy Dare Reagan? What, what the Dare that. program did, I think, was uh, make it possible for prisons to become private entities. And make a lot of money Private. off of incarcerating Private. poor people. Exactly. Tons of poor because people. Yeah, the war on it, drugs was no, definitely because, a failure. Against poor and people. And guess who administration that was? The Reagan administration. How the fuck you going to give somebody a motherfucker got the same amount of cocaine and crack rock and the motherfucker with cocaine get a way lighter sentence, but the motherfucker can have one crack rock and this motherfucker get football numbers. But Joe because Biden authored the 1996 crime bill, and that was the but same shit. But he wasn't the only one. He wasn't the only one. That's if you're gonna they call all, out one, you gotta call out everybody all, that was a part of it. All, you can't they, just put this on one. They, they all tried it. They you all know, did and, that and shit. You can't. You can't Hillary fault Clinton, what the president. You can't fault the president for tr- any the president. The crazy thing about for, Joe Biden. This is what I just want to say about that. He was a congressman. He's been in the government for 50 years. Then he was the vice president. Now he's the fucking president. And he president. did a good job. Yeah. I mean, come on. We no, don't have that, anybody else. You know, you this know one what? man has That's been true. in Congress this entire time. Then That's he's the true. vice president for eight That's M and F in years. Now he gets to be the That's president true. too. Like, give That's me a true. fucking break. But, give uh, else. Okay, okay. Calm down, Tom Cat, because we know you're I mean, one sided. Hold agree, on, let me talk. I agree with Tom. Let me Kat talk. No, 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 no. You're wrong as well. Okay? I don't like any. I, and, and, and this ask in this perspective, and I'm not talking about him in particular, but if you think about it, I did go over the top a little bit on that. Any CEO of any company or anything that does has done really well okay a lot of times their ceos ain't just some motherfucker that popped up off the street it's somebody that has at least been in the business and has done the shit knows their shit and has done it well Whoa, for a long time and i'm sorry i'm sorry let me finish i'm sorry regardless of what's going on right now i don't 
pay attention as much as I should, but I know when he was vice president under Obama, he did a great fucking job. Okay. And that's, that's when he did all his shady that's, business. That's when he took all oh, the documents they're finding. You get out of Fox a, News, dude. They've dis- already told you they fucking lie to you, bro. I don't even they what are you talking you. about? They didn't find documents in his house. That's a oh, lie. Come on, oh, Raymond. Oh, come on, Raymond. Oh, no, no I'm, listen, listen, I'm not even, trying to fuck with you, but you're saying it's a lie they found documents at his house. Okay, okay. These are simple things. They're very small. He's trying to say I'm a conspiracy theorist over the smallest thing. I'm talking. I don't even. You watch can't all fuck. talk at once. Let's uh, let's let TK finish his. his that was it. I was just. Are saying, you done? Look, are you trying to say they didn't find documents at his house? It's I'm only trying on Fox to say. Newsland. I'm sure at any fucking politician in the country, they can find some kind of fucking document at the house. I'm pretty sure that the reason he's still the fucking president and nothing happened of it is because the people that you listen to made it a way bigger fucking deal than it really is. Right, That's I'm, what I'm saying. I'm gonna jump in. Go ahead, Memphis. Uh, I you're don't next. even. I don't even watch Fox News at all. But Joe Biden is not a. Good well, they're the number just, one rated listen, news channel. Listen, it's the news. Even, it's just news. news. It's, it's not Fox not news. 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 news and CNN news. I don't watch that shit. News. It's what's happening in the world. But I'm saying I don't think you call it. No, you call it that so you can say that. They said themselves. That's where you that you say that every time. So that anything I say is invalid. It's bullshit. I'm not talking about like the local. You don't want to talk about the issues. Channels and stuff like that. What are we talking about? I'm not talking about shit. That's fucking made up or exploded to be something that it's not, dude. And, and what, it's already proven time and time was again. That? And that what thing was that? Fucking, I don't know, pick a fucking subject that they talk about, bro. It's fucking everything. All right, every fucking thing right, they listen, do. We don't need all the shady. we don't need all the f bombs now. Ramo. All right, sorry, sorry, right. but I mean, I'm just trying to make a point, dude. Like, okay, I understand. I just you fi- I just find it funny. I'm talking yes. about issues, and sure. you're talking about Fox News. No, I'm not talking about Fox that's News. That's who you listen to, Dodo. That's that, no, that's where you're getting your info from. <laughs> you're insane. You sit uh, and watch me here for hours okay. do research on this computer with all different Fox websites News. for this show. You Fox watch me. And then you come on here and you say, I watch Fox News. Fox I'm just News. saying. It's insane. Fox News. I'm just not going to hear it. All right, let's, let's change subjects at this point. I have a new subject that I'd like to move on to. This is a, a lot, lot more fun, this one. Sound like succession. <laughs> yeah, this is from BuzzFeed. Caught my attention. It okay. says, people are divulging kinky sex things that they tried, and they ended up loving these things. So you're going to want to listen to this next segment. Like what? Yes. So the first thing it says here on the list that you should maybe try, it might enlighten your sex life. I don't know if I like this. Getting bitten. You know, have have your significant other bite you. Bite you. Give you a hickey. Remember, hickeys were cool in high school. Or oh, were, were they? Very true, those things, very true. Man. I hated those things, but passion marks is what we call them. I'm not. A, they, I'm not I, a fan of biting. I'd not, rather you not bite me. Huh? To be honest. You, did you ever? You ever? Did, did I ever did give you, a girl yeah. one? Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 it was like a, it was like a purpose. stamp. It, it was, was like giving a girl a tattoo, yeah, yeah, you know. Give that it was. Purpose. That's well, yeah, you, you most probably did it on accident the first time. Then you're nah, like, Whoa. you know what you was doing. Nah, you knew what you was doing. <laughs> you knew what you was doing. You, like, you might get in trouble too. If she, if she had to go home hey, to her mom or her gonna, dad, and then you left the hickeys on there. You're in trouble. You see a girl walk on big ass bed. Like, goddamn, somebody tore her ass up. And then I think the funniest thing about the hickeys is all the weird ways people would try to cover it up, going to school with like a turtleneck and shit, and everybody's like, bitch. What were some ways you? They say if you put like like a cold spoon in the freezer and you put on and like massage it, like it kind of keeps the blood flowing. Right, right, right. I heard that. I had this girlfriend. Put all your hickey cures in the comments below. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> I, I was messing around I with this like girl it. and um, messed around her with another girl, and she put one on my neck. And I'm like, God damn it, she gonna catch me. So my homeboy mama put like some makeup and shit on my neck because we went on a date. You you got a hickey, um, Memphis? Yeah, this was I was like 16 at the time. What are you trying to say, Jeff? Well, I, I'm I'm, oh, yeah. I'm what just are you curious. To say? <laughs> what? what you like I know I know. What are you trying to say, man? I know when I, get, now, when I get a hickey, it comes out like a red hickey. Uh oh. What, what are you trying to what say? What color are your hickeys? I'm never. You know, I'm not black. I don't know what color my. You know. I don't know, my fucking shit. It's, what I'm, color are your hickeys? We should. Hey, I don't know. You know what? Maybe I have my. Well, it's blood. I'll tell it's my, probably purple. I tell my wife to suck on my neck or some shit. Yeah, come in with a know. hickey next well, week. Actually, I'd like no, to do like some it. analysis. It just, it's, it's still freaked me it's out. It's like a darker She'll coloration, anyway. right? Yeah, it's probably. It does look dark. Yeah, it's just like a dark coloration. I ain't that kind of like a bruise. Just like a bruise. Yeah, slow down. 
All right, well, it might have been. That's more than racist, dog. I don't like that. Quite all racist. It wasn't racist. It was yeah. more yeah. trying to understand. I'm trying, you know, it's communication. Oh, no, it is. Yeah. I call it communication. You know what? Here's These and, 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 and this is this is funny. <laughs> and I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this because obviously I'm married to a white woman. You are as well, you know, and and we oh, kind of have we kind of have these. So's my wife. We oh, we kind of so have not these full we, white. They're well, only oh, she's Italian. Yeah, don't don't tell them that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, anyways, it, <laughs> that's pretty terrible, but. It, there's a lot of t- she tells me there's a lot of times where people white people from rural areas may tend to say and do things that probably are racist and tend to be racist and are construed as racist. Are construed as racist. Construed as racist. Are, are, are you Eddie Vedder singing? <laughs> 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 We did just hear the whole album, so yeah. but they don't really know that that's what they're doing. They don't understand the fact that that's what they're doing. Are you trying to say of, I don't understand that no, no, I'm trying well, being a racist? I'm not trying to be a racist. I'm just trying to understand. It's just you've been well. No, no, no. But that's why you're asking. Is is what I'm saying is you're asking him because you're not trying to be racist. You're asking him because you don't know and you want to understand yeah. how that works. But see, that could come off as like. Why are you asking me that shit? Like that's kind of fucked up. Like, can you see the hickeys on my? Because I was gonna ask him that too, honestly. What the but, fuck? but then you I stopped <laughs> because I thought it was offensive. Nah, I, I mean, asshole. It's not... <laughs> we still got a lot of show left. Let's move on. A whole hey. lot of show left to get your Let's ass move on back to the now. next one. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. All right, what we got? I love you guys. guys. We're finally gonna score. Here we are. Sorry, that was yeah. the wrong button. Uh, <laughs> funny. <laughs> okay, so this, if you want to spice up your sex life, according to BuzzFeed, you can try these things. And, you know, biting, hickeys, it's a thing. Oh, cool. The next one is, uh, this woman says a guy once asked me if he could spit in my mouth. Ew! Ew. That's you know disgusting. what? Yuck. What? I'm and, not with uh, it. And it said, uh, it, it surprised me, the girl said, what? and she said, I let him do it because I'm very submissive in bed. <sighs> so and she said, gross. honestly, afterwards... Ew. It was a huge turn on. She liked being told what to do, and he was like, open your mouth, I'm going to spit in you. And she was like, yes. I tried it with my wife. She was like, get the fuck out of here. Did yeah. you really? Yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't. I don't want anyone to spit what on me. What, 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 what are we talking spit. about here? Are we talking like actual were just like, no, don't even open yes, your mouth. Let me just spit in your face. Oh, I thought we were like, spit, you know, like... Yeah. Oh, no. Listen, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, like, hey, God. spit in my mouth. Oh, that's that disgusting. Mouth. Let me just tell you what my old lady would say. If, not old lady. My lady would say, <laughs> I'd be getting in trouble. What my lady would say, she would kick you my, kick my ass. What my lady would she say, if I tried shit that shit, mouth. I'd be getting my ass whooped if I tried that shit. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. And I'm good with that it. because I don't really want a woman that's like, spit it on in, in me. <laughs> <laughs> spit in me. Please, spit I'm in cool. my ass. I'm well, good. Now we're talking. Now Now I've watched. Was there a loogie in there? Ew, gross. I've watched some Pornhub where they, you know, they spit on their hand, you know, and then they. Yeah. Well, sometimes you need yeah, you gotta it. lube it up. Look, yeah. it's yeah. okay now. Yeah, it can't yeah. be dry. That's yeah. another thing. Yeah. It can't Sorry, be dry. I prefer yeah. to go down and do you, it manually, but little, hey, it's you not know, gonna work if it's dry. Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, if it's if it's chafed, you ain't getting out. chafed down there. No, now, what's the best lube, fellas? What's the best lube? I shouldn't ask that. I shouldn't ask. Natural. Natural. came out? It's some kind of female smelling lotion, is what I like. KY jelly. KY, is that the oh, best? that's the old school one, I guess. Are we talking yeah. about backdoor action here? No, we Possibly. will not be talking about backdoor action. <laughs> let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, Just so got squeamish. Yes. Spitting, spitting that's is not right. a thing uh, for any of yeah, us on the panel. Right, uh-huh. But you can try it, I guess, Gross. if you want. Nope. Uh, the next on the list, uh, if you want to spice up your sex life, according to BuzzFeed, ah! uh, d- degrading and being dominant. Uh, towards my man. This is what this woman said. Uh, I've always been much more submissive, so when my boyfriend asked me to switch the roles, I wasn't sure how much I'd like it, or even if I, it would feel natural, but it felt so good, and it turned on, it turned him on wildly, so she became the dominant. She was normally submissive, oh, but shit. she decided she was going to tell him how it was going down. So there's no middle of the road here. There's just like fucking, I'm going to give it to you or I'm going to take it, get spit in my mouth here or one or the other. There's no middle of the road. Like yeah, I just, I, like I just want to have sex and nobody spit in my fucking mouth yeah. and I don't have to like well, down, do some hit anybody over shit. the head with a fucking butt shit. plug. New shit is fun. I mean, can we just get back to the Whoa. basics? Maybe some missionary, maybe some doggy. I mean, why does it have to be spitting 
and, uh, Good luck. and biting. I don't know? mind the the biting is cool as long as you don't draw blood or leave yeah. any of the hickeys. That's a little you know yeah, no juvenile, hickeys. but the biting is okay. All right, next, she has to. Let's read next on the list. I haven't oh, read these stop. yet, so I'm reading them <laughs> for the first time with you. Uh, my ex girlfriend and I were browsing porn together. Weird. And we stumbled upon a lesbian piss scene. What Sweet. the? What are we reading? A lesbian piss scene? Now, was it, it piss squirting? or was it a That's squirt. a funny little wiener she got we discussed there. the uh, the latter before. <laughs> we had the, yeah, we, we did uh, discuss squirting. Yeah, because we had that one lady that was like the world the world squirter with the furthest yeah. squirt. Oh, man. The furthest squirt. We, no. what, what if you were like going down on her and she decided to... I saw. A, I saw. She probably drowned because uh, now she, probably... she works at the local car wash. She's so. a punch <laughs> snake. I saw a comedian on Instagram where he was, you know, going going downtown to Chinatown, and he wore the like swimming goggles, uh-huh. and then all of a sudden, you know, like a fire hose just started pouring out between his <laughs> legs, and he's like trying to breathe, and he's got his goggles on. It was a pretty funny little bit. Uh, but let's move on to the uh, the, the finish this up here. It says uh, they decided to watch this pissing lesbian scene. Okay. And uh, then it <laughs> why said, is that funny? That's they, they both just sort of said, "Let's try it." And she drank some water. It says here we went in the shower. I got on my knees and she proceeded to piss on my tits. I'm just reading this verbatim, oh, and oh. talk about it. Warm, I guess. Did she cock her leg moment. or anything? Wait, so two girls did this, right? Yeah, two girls. One okay. girl urinating on so another. So I guess this we're is all for COVID this. at this point. Man, I, I feel like... Spit in my mouth <laughs> and uh, go ahead and just piss on me. Was this before then, uh, or after the two girls shit in the cup? I don't know. But that, this, was way, oh, that was yeah, a while ago that that oh, happened. God. And the world is still shaking from it. This stuff Literally. is very Disgusting. disrespectful. I mean, I feel like it's disrespectful to your sig- significant other. You're going to piss on them. You're going to spit on them. Yeah, yeah, I, I, just don't, don't, I don't like it. Time, it, it just disturbing. seems like... Hey, Donald Trump likes golden showers, don't he? I don't know. What? I don't know. I don't want to know. Hmm. Trumpster, yeah, I was thinking of that the PP tape. That's the that? whole tape. That yeah, was the tape weird. that they tried, that were saying it was Russian, you know. And he was <laughs> that's he, so weird. And he was in the oh, Moscow hey. hotel Pee with the me. strippers Why and they're peeing on, on him. I don't have a problem with that. If he's into that, do it, brother. Shit. Well, shit. Let all Kelly ass out of jail. People getting pissed on. Well, she was thirteen, bro. Oh, Calm wait, down. Wait. Okay, yeah. Stop. Pardon, <laughs> pardon me. Rewind it. Take right. that out. Take that out. We, we have a couple more here on the list. <laughs> Since the age thing. Yes. Free this, R. Kelly. No, it's This next one uh, might be fun. You know, it seems like uh, I feel like I've tried this a few times. It, I think uh, ecstasy was involved. Sweet. But, uh, this is you, good. Using ice cubes in the uh, in yeah, the bench. Yeah, man. You know, putting uh, ice cubes on your significant other, uh, especially, uh, it could go both ways, I guess. I don't really need any ice cubes on me. Yeah. But, uh, don't put them on my balls. <laughs> don't do that. I guess the women like ice cubes <laughs> rubbed over their chests. Well, you, have you ever have you ever done that? Uh, picked up a bag of ice. Tomcat came home and <laughs> poured it all over your wife. No, no, no. Nope. Uh, apparently, <laughs> what about uh, you, Ray? You ex- ever no, iced no, your girl down? What ecstasy does is uh, it raises your body oh, temperature, shit. so yeah. that it probably does feel real good as a, as an effect, especially with like one of those Vicks vapor rub nose things shoved up your nostril. What? Yeah, it's that's a, good a bit time. much, man. It's a good yeah, time. back in the day, man. Good time. That's in the Raven days. Break beats, Florida break beats. Here's Boom. another one. Here's another one. Uh, for the first time, I DJ Icy started dating a new guy, and he asked me to milk his prostate. Yes. Oh, that was I heard of that. That is disgusting. Have you, have you ever had your prostate <laughs> <laughs> milked? Only by a licensed physician. <laughs> Memphis, have you have you ever had your prostate milked before? No, no, I haven't. But I've heard of, I've heard a lot of great things about it. Before. Don't worry, it's coming, brother. <laughs> yeah, I know. Literally, it is. I think it's my, I know, I think I it's know. my year. What is it? Forty five. Yeah, I got to make a prostate check. Forty five, fifty. Yeah. Oh lord. Uh, yeah, so you could, you could look that up, kids, if you don't know what it is. <laughs> milking the prostate. That's when uh, KY jelly and such becomes very, very important. Yeah, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Two fingers or three? Don't do, do not Google <laughs> three. Two girls, one cup. Make sure you do have a short do doctor. It. If you have not seen it, don't look it up. <laughs> oh man, he's got big it. hands. Yeah, on yeah. Oh no. Yeah, don't don't go to Shaq for your uh, prostate. <laughs> I, I would just request a female doctor then, man, because I mean, because I want to do that's embarrassing. You think I, she wants to do that? Well, that's she gross. a goddamn doctor. Listen, I had a ch- if I had a choice. You're weird. I want no dude. All right, come on, dog. Bend on over here. Come. 
Yeah, Ew. that's how he says it too. He also puts on some berry wine. if you wine. like accidentally fart in his and face, at least you, <laughs> <laughs> you won't feel bad about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you give for putting your finger right. in my ass. We're down to the last one. I, I'm, I'm going to skip over some of these Thank because you. they're just kind of disgusting. It is. Uh, this one. <laughs> Fuck, man. What's I, wrong with y'all? I, I don't know if you guys are. Are any of you guys feet people? You like feet? No. Nah. Not really. You don't like a nice cute foot? Fuck I mean, that. I like nice feet, but you, you don't want no hammer. Toes. I could do without him. If they I just like had a, stumps like, and just like pegged around, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> you don't care. I want you yeah, walk around he's, not, he's not picky. I don't mean, you got to rub them. I just don't want my girl to have a bigger shoe size than me. You know, I don't want to look like a bunch of. I, I don't want to be like borrowing I'm her leave shoes that one alone. because we our shoes. You know, we have the same size foot. You like feet? I, I, I like a nice, pretty foot. You know, I don't want to see a girl with some nasty ass toes. Uh, I like dirty feet. You, you do like dirty feet. The ball when the foot, the bottom oh, of the foot's all dirty from like walking around. Oh, on the, that's oh. it. You got to go the parking park lots. That's like you parking lots. My foot. goddamn bed with no damn whore. dirty ass no. feet. I'm, she's <laughs> a lot lizard. <laughs> yes. Well, this if if you like Where feet, are we? what exit is this? Who cares? <laughs> I want my girl to have a bunion. Yeah. On both feet. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here, girl. You just get out of that eighteen wheeler. Come with us. So uh, curious over here. So this on the list it says my current boyfriend has a foot fetish. I love how he loves it. I don't yeah. find myself asking him, uh, finding him to suck my toes or lube them up. But what I do like is when <laughs> when I lube up the arches of my feet, he gets real worked up when I, like, I guess it's like, I don't know, lack of better words, but like jerking him off with your feet. You ever had a girl do that? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Like but lubing up your feet and she takes her feet and she, you know. Okay. Kicks her up penis. And goes up and down. She on kicks a, on her the penis bolt. repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe Which briefly feet? until her face gets closer. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> now you get it. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank Sweet. you. You're welcome. Uh, well, I'll be I, here uh, all week. So, so those are the things uh, on the list uh, for if you want to spice up your sex life, according to BuzzFeed. Some of them. I could really uh, do without. Yeah, and, totally. and we learned something about hickeys today, too, which I, I feel like this segment was. <laughs> you got to give them the more you know. You got to yeah. give them that. The more you know. The more you know. We sure did. You got to give it to them. We uh, definitely more learned know. more than we thought I'm we would. Uh, let's uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's Sorry, go on to the uh, to the next the next <laughs> segment here. What we got? You better label. Let's talk things. about uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, Gwyneth that Paltrow. Bitch. So right. she has been in a courtroom here lately because her and a 76-year-old retired Army vet, they ran into each other on the ski slopes. This guy really got hurt bad. He's badly injured. And um, she's saying that it was his fault, and he's saying that it's her fault. And I guess he's suing her for $3 million. Uh she won't uh, get it. It's now been reduced down to three hundred thousand dollars. There you go. That's She's more like settle it. out of court for that. Yeah. And so uh, they are kind of clowning her. The internet is having fun because she was wearing uh, glasses that look like Jeffrey Dahmer. You know those Dahmer glasses? Oh my oh, god! Yeah. Yes. And, and there's pictures of her out on the internet. If you look, Gwyneth Paltrow in court. Yeah, I for see him. She's looking all and she's suspect she, she looking kinda, around. She kind of like, like looks like she's trying to pay homage to Jeffrey Dahmer with those glasses. But she's and the kinda, tones in the courtroom and what she's wearing kind of look like. She's kind of tiny actually. herself though, isn't she? Like, who's this guy? Like, uh, was he I'm, frail old dude? Like, was he really seventy six? Yeah, that's pretty up there, huh? Um, but skiing. I mean, have you guys uh, ever been uh, skiing, water skiing, or snow? This was snow skiing. Uh, but have you ever yeah. been skiing before? Never. But Never. I, I, I think it's going to be really hard for him to recover any funds because that's a known risk of skiing. Like accidentally bumping into somebody, like you take that risk when you go out there to ski. She, like, she bumped into him? Happen. Yeah. Well, according to, they're both pointing fingers. So he was saying that she was uh, not paying attention. She was being careless. Oh. And he broke oh. four ribs and he got a concussion. And uh, he's saying if she was negligent, then there could be something. She's there. saying you just said it has the to be opposite. Proven. No, she's saying it was him. They're but, both saying right. That. Yeah, it has to be it's proven. A, it's a but he said, she I, said. I, I don't know though. I don't know if it'll be, it's going to be covered though. Honestly, by her insurance, he may be able to sue her personally, but he'll get some for it. Out of her, yeah, he'll get some. Yeah, for this it. ain't going nowhere. What's the most dangerous uh, sport or vacation uh, that you guys, uh, Rainbow, have you done anything like? Uh, 
uh, whitewater rafting? Have you ever jumped out of a plane and sky, uh, did skydiving? No, nah, anything like that. No, that's you don't that's, live on the edge. Not like that, dude. That's that's a ride in yeah, race cars. That's that. I don't. No, nah, I don't do nothing like that. Just ride I'd say the, the most drugs. dangerous thing I've ever done <laughs> yeah, in my right. life. Drugs. Uh, it wasn't yeah, a was vacation. That? It was <laughs> a, going to high school in Gary, Indiana. Take a shot. Let's take a shot. Everybody. What about you, Memphis? Uh, you jumped out of a plane before? Hell yeah, I did. How fucked up my shoulder, too. How many thousand Aww. feet? Uh, 13,000. 13,000 feet. Was this where you were in the military? No. no. He was in the military? I didn't know you were in the military. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps saying that. <laughs> I don't know why he I keeps thought, saying that. I thought all Jehovah's Witnesses went to the military. Is he, Can are I you set Jehovah's him on Witness? fire? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just want right. to set him on Ramo's fire. Ramo's stirring it up. <laughs> no, but I jumped out of a plane, me and my homeboy, and That's I fucked cool. my shoulder back in those oh. six. Was it landing? Or yeah, how we did landed wrong because I was out in West Texas, and it's all flat, and the wind is really crazy. And it's like that And we Florida came too. down, and we just, wow. Oh, that, mm, that but sounds, it was cool, though. I'm like, shit, the shit open, so I'm like, I'm going to live. I might get hurt. Sure, there, I'm all right. And it's assumed risk. You couldn't, you couldn't sue the company, right? No, 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 so, no, no, because no, you signed a waiver. It's assumed risk. Yeah, hey, you signed a waiver. Uh, what about you, Tom Cat? Uh, you done anything uh, on the wild side? I know you have done a lot of wild things. Uh, I've always been scared to go skydiving. I've never done that. Yes. Uh, we used to do a lot of tubing, like really fast tubing, like in the lakes and shit. That was always fun. The ro- the skateboarding shit, the electric skateboarding is pretty crazy. That's dangerous. Have Wait, you, dangerous. you posted a video of you kidding. Well, we saw yeah, yeah, yeah. you fail. I fell numerous times and really hurt myself <laughs> numerous crazy. times. We still, we, you know, and I see your videos now that you be wearing a helmet. And I was so he glad should. you wore a helmet. Then yeah, you fell hard. hard. You, you know, look yeah. even more like a DTD now. <laughs> yes, I, I am. What about the side by side ride the other day? You that about was shit your pants. Crazy. Wait, yeah, what happened? As I should have. I, I was got, in the back with no fucking uh, uh, seatbelt. It, it has seatbelts on. It's called a side by side. And it's gas powered and it's fast as shit. Have it outside. And fucking, you both got seatbelts on the oh. front, but there's a back part you can sit in, which was where I was. No seatbelt. And Dude, Gentry's yeah. driving fucking. He's just getting all fucking dudes <laughs> of hazard. You just yee it up, wasn't you? Yeah, yeah. I was getting sideways. And uh, yeah. Tomcat's like, don't forget I'm back here. I don't have a <laughs> well, Let's go back to something. You sure guys used risk. to go tubing in the lake in Florida? We used to go uh, down by the locks near in Lehigh. You know where the locks are? Uh-huh. Yeah. We used to go tubing out there. You know, it's gators and shit out there. Oh, right? there is. But you got to keep moving. Got to be fast. When I used to fall off that tube, that was the scariest part. Dude. Flying on the shit. tube. No, Because it's my this dude we knew Ooh. had a jet ski that would do like 70 miles an hour. We'd hook the tube up, tube up to it, and we'd have rodeos where he'd try to see how fast he could get us off that tube. And you True. just get down on the side of that tube, man. You're just whipping around that corner. Meanwhile, yeah. gators sitting there looking like, as soon as your little ass fall off, when you fall off, you do this. That's funny. Skip up your arms and like. I, I think it's it's hilarious how some people are like extremely afraid of alligators. I agree with him. I wouldn't go in the water either. Mm-hmm. But like my cousin Tony, he grew up in Florida. He would jump in the ponds, dude. Yeah, like, no. you're crazy, bro. We used to have a rope swing that was <laughs> oh right God. right by a, a bunch of gators. <laughs> where um, when we would get to the rope swing, the first thing we would do is like do cannonballs in the water because my buddy would say that scares them away. That scares all the yeah, gators. Okay. So when sure. we would first get there, or attracts them, we would be yeah, cannonballing in the water and shit. Yeah, well, we, them in the ass. we went with it and never got never got bit by an well, alligator. Well, most people don't. Well, thank goodness. Yeah. Most gators, people don't. Well, they're, and they're nah. not they're not in there to try to you attack hear, humans. They're there to eat. It's funny because where they get humans. your ass no. is on the shoreline. If they like that lady they that mistake just got, you for food, well, oh, that's yeah, where they it. that's where they lie in yeah. wait. If you're out in the middle on a tube and there's a boat and fucking you're flying around, the gator is going to be a little bit more like put off. Like, well, I don't really know how to attack this. You might well, get attacked. Loud, you might get attacked, but you probably are going to especially big ass scare gators, them. Big ass, we call them they say when it's mating stuff. season, they get most aggressive because that's also when the water uh, it starts to become like a pussy. drought, and the water get gets less. Pussy. And yes. the, the less water there is around the gator, the more aggressive they get. I feel uh, bad for the gators. You know, they got short arms. They they do. They're not able to jerk off. They this don't have to. Really sucks to be a gator. I feel bad for the gators. No, I don't. They have a bunch of mouth breathers too. <laughs> yeah. Not if they're underwater, they're breathing with their nose. You didn't get one in, didn't you? Yep, see, That's there underwater. you go. All right, this next segment is being brought to you by Boardroom. You can check out Boardroom on Instagram. Uh, proud sponsors of our segment here, and they presented the fast food restaurants with the most locations in the United States. 
I think we all go to fast food restaurants. I'm not sure we want to. I don't. Yeah. We don't want to, but uh, sometimes you got kids, you're on the go. You have to stop at a fast food spot. Uh, who do you think of all the fast food spots in the United States, who has the most locations, do you think? Guaranteed McDonald's. Yeah, I was going to say McDonald's. Or, wait. See if you guys can. Burger King. Uh, they're, uh, they're not even in the top five, uh, Burger King. Uh, what? Uh, but uh, if I, if you guys guess it, uh, uh, I got I'll, Taco I'll buy lunch. Bell. <laughs> That's they Taco are Taco Bell. Bell is on the list. Wendy's gotta be in there. Her redhead ass. She Wendy gotta be in is there. not. In, Wendy's is not in the top uh, five. I don't know. White Castle. Not no, in the, not in not the top five. What? Place. They're not even halfway through the country. God They're only in half of the country. Let's uh, go through the list here. Number five. Uh, get ready with your sound effect, Tom Cat. Number five is Taco Bell. Yes, that would be. Wait, you pray, no way. Is that Taco Bell? They, they have uh, uh, get, run uh, run to the border. Is that their thing? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Are you allowed we to say that anymore? You are. Right? I, thought, I thought it was run for the border. Head to run the for the border. Run to the border. Uh, but uh, they I, have I, that sound. Though. Although, although our government probably wouldn't appreciate it. But yeah. what? Oh yeah. Uh, there's yeah, how many uh, Taco Bell stores do you think there are in the United States? Oh. Um, I'm gonna say about fifth most in the country. Yeah, they got their number five. I'm gonna say about. 3,200 stores. Uh, I'm going to say 7,000, actually. Oh, I was way up. 7,000. Yeah. 7,772 Taco Bell locations. I wonder what state has and the we most. got one in Cape Coral Suite. And uh, number four uh, on the list is Dunkin' Donuts. Yes. Is that considered fast food, though? Them motherfuckers are everywhere. Hell yeah, they are. They got little sandwiches. They, they, do. Selfie. they do. And they do no. big shit, big they numbers because they're doing that they coffee make and they're doing breakfast and now they have lunch they shit. Man, y'all yeah. better leave Dunkin' alone. That's, That's my jam. They're 9,000, 9, 9,368. And they're Dunkin'. everywhere. Yes, Fucking people Dunkin love Dunkin'. Donuts everywhere. Number three yeah. on the list was the one that you guys thought was one on the list McDonald's. McDizzle. They're number Bizzle. three. They're number, number three. three. Who got mo- they got they got Third, served billions. 13,000. 1,269 yeah, locations they're, they're for above 10. Wow, I now, thought it would be more than 13. Now we're down locations. to the final two. This I got to hear. Burger King. No. They Number two stop. is they're on every freaking corner everywhere you go. I mean, what Wendy's. am I talking about? Starbucks. Starbucks, you are correct. I, okay. I was wondering I was wondering I if Starbucks was going to be sure, in it, but sure. I don't find them to be fast food. Yeah, I don't like, fucking I food. food. They, they, they do have some food. They have, uh, I mean, they they have some breakfast pops. sandwich. That shit's already made. But that's sweet, though. No. They don't made. make the list. Their okay, sandwich so I guess isn't even cooked. They are a fast food well, restaurant. Fast you can get the little... Like uh, Starbucks every now and again. You, you can get the little sandwiches, the little protein packs. Oh, those are so good. I bet okay. there's tons of people sure. that if you go, do you eat fast food? And they go to Starbucks all the time. They'd be like, I don't eat fast food. Oh, oh snooty and shit. Oh, oh, but I guess you do because... You you're, go to you're, Starbucks. Your person's up in our list, all up in the list. Whoever the site is, you want to be in the list. now. That's now funny. you down here with us, bitches. <laughs> the water's great. All right, and number Slumming. one on the list, if uh, you guys can guess it, uh, you know, I'll buy you lunch next time right, you come so in. All right, so if they be Starbucks, y'all, we got to really put There's our thinking caps on. There's one left. Here. There's one left out there that you guys are not thinking about. Let's see. It ain't not Starbucks. It ain't Dunkin' Donuts, so it got to be. Uh, I feel like this place uh, was more popular to me maybe 15 years ago, and they've kind of gotten a, a little bit of a bad rap a little bit. Art- Subway. Subway is correct. Subway. Yep. Subway is Eat number fresh. one on the list. All right. I want pizza from Zadi. Thank you. All right. I'll get Look, you. Two. I don't know goddamn pizza. They have 20. You, motherfucker. You win. Subway has 20,000. 20,000 locations. That's a lot yeah. of franchise. Yeah. Subway. Again, I definitely wasn't thinking of that because like you don't think of it as fast food. Think of all the kids. All right. Oh. So Jared. <laughs> 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 I hear there's some kind of uh, Netflix special out. I seen it. About I seen it Netflix last week. Netflix not gonna make a special out of. I seen it. It's pretty ruthless. Outcast podcast. Fuck Jared. Let's go to Tomcat's six meatball. Tomcat's <laughs> not so good news. <laughs> uh, Tomcat, what do you got for us today? All right, all right. Today is uh, March twenty second. Thank you. Twenty twenty three. It's World Water Day, which focuses on our attention to the Earth's most vital resource. We're fucking it up. Ensuring clean water source for all the world's inhabitants is the goal of World Water Water Day. Good. It's also National Goof Off Day. And in Puerto Rico, Uh Empathion Day. Empathion Day. What does that mean? I have no idea. I don't either. But it's a a holiday in Puerto Rico today. Everybody says what? Oh, 
emancipation. Uh, em- the emancipation. It's emancipation. The emancipation. Emancipation Day. Okay. I'm reading that terrible. Oh, the Emancipation cool. Proclamation. Emancipation Day. Nice. From what, Birthdays from today. Spanish? Are you Saturday mm-hmm. coming up is my birthday, so I figured Happy I'd throw birthday. that in there. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. That's right. What are we doing? I don't know. Whose oh. birthday is it today? Send, send all Cat. your edibles to Tomcat. Tomcat. Saturday? Saturday. Let's have a Saturday. weed fest. Yep, thank weed you. Fest. Saturday, uh, birthdays Saturday. today. We got Reese Witherspoon, 46. She's nice. like, I like Reese. She's yeah, she's cool. Dave Portnoy, she, Barstool Sports. He's 45. He's younger than Reese Witherspoon by a uh, year. William Shatner, 91. Hey, you who's, who's don't list say. is he on? And didn't somebody put him on their death list? William Shatner? I think yeah, I did. Yeah, me. That's why I was, like, that's why I was saying it like oh, that. Like, okay. That's what I did. Enjoy your last birthday. No, kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Keegan Michael Key, 51. Okay. All right, coming up in my news segment. Yeah, uh, we had a I thought that already started. What do you mean coming up in your news segment? It's almost over. Yeah. Well, I haven't started the news yet. I just oh. was like telling what was, goes on that on was March the fluff. So what, what was that? The, fluff. the oh, news fluff. today, well, we had a story about Hillary and Chelsea Clinton. Uh, they're doing, of course, their podcast. Each much other? like ourselves, they got a podcast. How fun. Everybody's got a podcast. They do. Everybody's got a fucking Ours podcast. Ours is awesome, days. though. Well, apparently, while they were filming their podcast, they found a couple errant turds there in a theater watching a movie for their podcast and when they went to intermission turned on the lights they found two human turds next to chelsea and was this Hillary. in san francisco did they do it that's what i was thinking they did do it hmm. people weren't sure if they had laid the turds if somebody threw the turds over there they're not sure uh why secret service didn't catch the turds but uh, apparently it's a mystery shit, so there are my- mystery turds at the theater with hillary and chelsea on their podcast. Uh, you think they get examined? Did they, they have corn in Maybe there it was a dog. Like Somebody had a dog. They were in New city. York City. The theater was the Schubert Theater in New York. Oh, uh, that was a yeah. homeless person. Yeah, probably so. Uh, some people were saying that <laughs> it might it have been an old person that just like had, you know, old people will <laughs> crap themselves and the turds just kind of roll know, out there. Fucks. Really? No, I never heard of that. Um, it was shitty. They Next they need more story. Fiber. <laughs> Miami Beach actually rejects the nightly curfew after two fatal shootings during oh, spring man, break. They rejected so it? they enacted I the spring that. break curfew, but then they rejected it. And I, I kind of agree with them because they said that that week with St. Patrick's Day and all the shit that happens, that third week of spring break is the one that sees the most violence. And they didn't want to punish the people this week, which is Music Fest. Yeah. All the fucking techno dudes yeah. that are coming in there for. They'd have to move it again. And all those people were canceling. So in order not to have the people who come in next week or all new people have to pay for what the week before that did, they're they're getting rid of the uh, the curfew, the curfew, That's which cool. was at midnight anyways. But that would still shit just gets kicked off at midnight in yeah, Miami. Miami. Yeah. 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 What do you think about that? You think they should have got rid of the curfew or what? Ramo? What's that? You think they should have got rid of the curfew? Sure. I mean, for that, yeah. He because loves it, that. it's different from spring break. Like, it's not the same situation. Also, uh, Shaquille O'Neal shares his reason for his hospitalization. <laughs> I can't say shit today. I don't but good either. news, the big fella was just in there to have hip surgery, and he's doing great. We hope he's feeling good. Get yes. better, big fella. Get better, big fella. That's our band name. Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Big fella. No, the big fellas. Oh, the big fellas. The big, yeah, the big fellas. fellas. That's, fella. that's our band. Man. Don't try to steal yeah, our But we don't have anybody over like six foot in the band. So we, yeah. maybe, maybe See, we it's like a reverse the, nickname. We should be the little fellas. You mean maybe. seven foot. Yeah, we, don't have like any, we, we have people over six foot. How tall are you, Memphis? Six foot. What are you oh, talking about? Man, you're five eleven and no, a half. I'm not. Maybe. Man, maybe. Yeah, okay. With, with if, you had, if you had your mo, when you had your mohawk, you were. Oh, six yeah, he was foot. taller. When yeah. I had my mohawk, I think it was tall. I think it was tall. like a foot. I was ten feet tall when I had that mohawk. It was red. All right, Afro Jack, chill out. <laughs> Who the fuck is Afro Jack? Oh, fuck that. He's a famous DJ. He made a song called Ten Feet Tall. Oh, did he? Yeah, we have we have two topics here that we did not get to what this week. Good but, reference, Marimo. But we will Boom. get to them uh, next week uh, on the show. I do promise, and they're juicy ones. So you're gonna want to make sure you listen. But the one we didn't get to is uh, Tom Cat made a quote before the show where he said, "America is just as dangerous, if not more dangerous, for white people than it is for black people." Dare I say? And so I'd like for you guys to do your research and bring your facts to the table next week. Is, in fact, America more dangerous for white people than it is black people? Or you said two different things. Huh? You said more dangerous. Is it, I said it, as dangerous. It's as dangerous is what you're saying. So you're what you're saying is equally dangerous. Yeah. Okay. I think it depends on what economic scale you're talking. 
And then another topic that we didn't get to that I heard before the show started. Unfortunately, we're out of time. You'll have to listen next week. But uh, I heard Memphis call Ramo crazy. I am crazy. I always call him crazy. Yeah, and he know. said Puerto that Rican. it's because uh, you're friends with your ex-wife. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's right. No, he's friends with his, his ex-wife. That's my New brother, cousin. dude. Bobby's my dude, oh, man. Not, we golf. But still, like, even that too, together, like, that's what's cool. the point? Because. That's the, that don't man, make sense. Like, you what? broke up. You have to be more adult than that, that's dude. Not only for the kids, but for your own sanity, bro. Like, that's stupid. How are you going to hate somebody for your whole you life? You ain't got some dumb shit. Ain't nobody so, saying nothing so, about it. Okay, hate. so then if me and him get along <clears throat> as friends and people nah. who know each other, like, why mm-hmm. shouldn't we play golf once in a while? Hang out. Nah, see, like we see each much. other at family events and stuff. Like, see, the thing is, is my family's different, dog. Like, we ain't about it, that it shit. Well, me, what, man. well, me and my, mm-hmm. when me and my first wife split up, she was still invited to Christmas parties, Cue that music, and family function events. Like, <laughs> it, it's Sorry, not like go. that, dude. Like, the girls nah. were still involved. Like. Hell no, you're still the family. Wait, so got so you, you got to be an adult. And, what, and what do you? Uh, they got kids, so that's different. That's if, but sure. if you ain't got kids it or helps. some shit it like helps. that, then yeah. uh, bump sure. that. So does your ex ever be like, "Hey, uh, Ramo, you know, it's been a while. What's Hell up? no. What's up with that? I mean, Hell y'all no. still hang like out, Ramo. Doesn't she y'all still, still hang out? Yeah, I mean, you guys are. You're, you're a looker, out. man. Don't say it like that. People still want you, man. I don't hang out with her. I hang out with her husband. Oh, well, yeah. Hey, now you're so, really now, into uh, that's you're really a different up. question for a different show. So we get back to the nitty gritty. <laughs> do, do you guys uh, you <laughs> pineapple upside down out there Check on that. your uh, mailbox? Has he ever uh, pissed, pissed, pissed you off, Ramo? Like uh, you got mad at this guy and just been like, "Hey, man, I had it first. Nope, never. You know what? Never. I was I was hitting that back, yeah, you know, way uh, back in the day. You got my I sloppy don't. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Don't stop, man. Stop. Just stop. I already, you guys I already are, hit that, man. That's terrible. I knocked the box out before you got a hold of it. Shut up. That's right. terrible. Let's play basketball. <laughs> I hate you guys. I took it to the hole way before you way took it to the hole. Did, yeah. Should we be talking about the final four or something? How's my dick taste? Sweet, oh. baby. Yeah. What an yeah, asshole. Sweet 16. Go balls, baby. I don't like these guys anymore. See you next week. God's willing. Thanks for listening. Bye, guys. <laughs>